This clip of the Texas Bucket List is brought to you by Spirit of Texas Bank and Slovacek Sausage. Howdy, and welcome back to the Texas Bucket List. You know, twice a year in Texas, there's a gathering of aged artifacts that draws in people from all over the world. It's called the Round Top Antiques Fair, and it's right between Houston and Austin. And at that fair, you'll find the Marburger Farms, which has some of the more unique items at the show. Some of those items you wish could talk to tell you where they've been, what they've seen, and the incredible things they've witnessed. It's hard to get a grasp on the enormity of what goes on in Fayette County during the first week of April and October. But as the fog lifts on this back road, you start to see the reason why so many flock to this one-of-a-kind gathering. The Round Top Antiques Fair is an event that goes on for miles, literally. It all got started back in 1967 in the square of Round Top, hence the name of the show. But now the fair can be found in Carmine, Warrington, and all over this stretch of Highway 237. There's a lot to see. I come every year. I love it. So much to see. <laughs> so much to see and uh, to find. There's a lot to see. Yes, there is a lot to see. In fact, it takes days to see just some of the impressive antiques, art, jewelry, and knickknacks. But we're heading to Marburger Farm, where some of the most incredible offerings can be found. We're talking museum quality pieces. It's hard to describe until you come and experience it for yourself. Ashley Ferguson helps run Marburger Farms, which is a fairly new addition to the over 45-year-old antiques fair. Marburger Farms started back in 1997, and it consists of 10 enormous tents and 12 historical buildings all filled with so many unusual items each building is different that's right and you never know what you're going to find when you walk in that building. that's right something <laughs> wonderful for sure though <laughs> <laughs> the first thing that sets this section of the antique fair apart is the buildings in which you're shopping in they all came from around the area they were the dance hall was an original dance hall the original bench is still in it the general store was a really a general store from counties all around this area um, the blacksmith shop has original forge still in it. The silver dollar saloon has original tin ceilings in it. It's like a history lesson inside of a history lesson. Now this is the original general store from LaGrange. From LaGrange, Texas. And these buildings are still original. These are the original shelves that were in the general store when they were moved on site. So how old are these shelves? I would say they're at least 100 years old. Gosh, and they, this might not be the first time they've seen these books either, huh? Right, some of the books are just as old. <laughs> Wonderful collection of old books here. If you think the books are impressive, you ain't seen nothing yet. There is a really vast array of antiques here. Everything from continental antiques, which are from Europe, to mid-century modern, industrial antiques, primitive. Americana, folk art. Our goal here at Marburger is anyone that's looking for something can find it here. If it's something from the past you've always wanted, chances are you'll find it here. From museum quality paintings, antiques that are hundreds of years old, car memorabilia, heck, you can even find jars of snake skins and pieces of coral reef. I'm telling you, everything. It's really incredible to get to see this many rare items at one time. It's kind of like stuff that my grandmother had in her house, some of it, but it's really cool. With so many unique and interesting items in one place, the Round Top Antiques Fair draws people from all over the world to see antiques from all over the world. We've mailed tickets to Israel, Australia, New Zealand, England, Canada, and nearly every state in the United States. We've really seen so many unique pieces of furniture and china and silver that really you have to travel to be able to find pieces like that. It's just unbelievable. I think this is one of the biggest shows because we have been to Canton. Of course, that's pretty big, but this has a better variety and more antiques. Ashley credits the success of Marburger Farm to the 350 dealers that turned this 43 acres of the Round Top Antique Fair into an antique wonderland. They go over to Europe and um, all over Africa and different places to gather the antiques and they have their containers come in sometimes right before showtime and they get unloaded just in time for the crowd that comes on 
Tuesday morning. But you gotta like to shop. <laughs> you know, I think the fun thing about finding something here is there's a story behind it. I don't care how many times we come, we always find something else that we've never seen before. And then we find a lot of neat ideas, decorating ideas that we can use at home. And that's the fun part, you know? You get something for free. <laughs> Ramona Ryan came in from Corpus to cruise around the curiosities and takes this shopper's rite of passage very seriously. You've got to endure the heat, the cold, the wet, whatever. And you've got to have extra clothes and always be prepared. And remember when I said people spend days here? <laughs> I wasn't kidding. We come five or six days or seven, whatever we can. Three to four days during the two week period that it's running. It just has everything and anything you want. And if you can afford it, you're in good shape. <laughs> the Round Top Antiques Fair is a truly intriguing stop on the Texas bucket list. It gives you a chance to relive pieces of the past. And if it's a point of time that particularly appeals to you or puts you in a place you want to remember forever, well, you can take it with you. Everybody needs to experience at least once. And we've told a lot of friends about it and they come up here once and then they're hooked to come back again. The amount of effort that goes into the display, it's really inspiring. It's a great way to get ideas. It's a great way to find that piece you've been looking for forever or to find something that you don't even know that you're looking for.